Hi everyone, thank you so much for choosing to watch this webinar. The purpose of this video is to show you around both the Optimal Health Trainer and the MyFitnessPal apps. You will use both apps daily and we're hoping knowing how to use them will make both of our lives easier. We want your fitness journey to be enjoyable. If you'd like, you can open the app on your phone and follow along as I walk you through the ins and outs of the apps. Let's get started. I'm going to start by logging in as our test client, Healthy Henry, to show you exactly what your app will look like. If you click the three little lines at the top left of the screen, it will bring up a couple different options. The first option is the dash. That will take you back to the summary screen we were just on. We'll look at the dash more closely a little later. The second option is the message feature. This feature allows you to message your trainer to ask questions, share progress, and celebrate accomplishments. The third option is settings. You can do a multitude of things in the settings feature, like edit your profile and set reminders, but the main thing we're going to focus on today is the apps and devices feature. One of the super cool features of the Optimal Health Trainer app is the ability we have to sync other fitness tools to our app to help track our progress. You can sync your app to your Facebook profile to share your progress with your friends. Fitbit is also compatible to the app, which is a watch that tracks your heart rate, steps, sleep patterns, etc. Fitbit also has a scale called the Aria that will sync to the app as well. Another scale compatible with the app is Why Things. The only app we highly recommend syncing to your Optimal Health Trainer app is MyFitnessPal as this is where you'll be tracking your meals. If you already have a MyFitnessPal account, you can simply click the MyFitnessPal, select Connect, and enter your login information. If you don't have a MyFitnessPal account yet, you'll want to download the app and create a login. We'll talk about MyFitnessPal in more detail later. Let's head back to the summary page. Viewing this page is an easy and convenient way to get a good overview of your program and progress. First thing you'll see is a graph showing your activity by week. The more active you are in the app, the better your graph will look. As you scroll down, you'll find your completed workouts, completed cardio, current weight, progress photos, personal bests, and meals. If your app is synced with MyFitnessPal, you will see your meal progress here. Clicking on each of these icons will take you to a different areas within the app, but for the sake of time, I'm only going to show you the progress photos feature. You can click on progress photos and it will allow you to add progress photos straight to the app by using your phone's camera. If we select add progress photos, a window will pop up explaining how to take an accurate progress photo. It's important for all progress photos to look the same so your trainers can accurately judge your progress. When taking a progress photo, you should wear tight clothing or a swimsuit, you should stand against a blank background, and you should pose naturally. Select OK Let's Start, and the app will show you exactly how to pose in all three photos. You'll take a front photo, side photo, and back photo. Once you're done uploading the progress photos, you will automatically return to the summary page. If you notice down at the bottom left of the screen, there is a small icon with a picture of your trainer. If you click that icon, it will bring up the messaging feature. This will allow you easy access to start a new message with your trainer, reply to an old message chain, or view your trainer's profile. This small circle icon will be at the bottom left of your screen, no matter what window you're viewing in the app. Now that we've viewed all of the features of the summary screen, let's head to the plan screen. You can swipe over or click the plans tab at the top of the screen. Doing so will bring up both your meal plans and your training plan. The first thing you will see on your meal plans is your set macros or macronutrients, which are broke down into protein, carbs, and fats. We will talk about these a little more when we go through the MyFitnessPal app. You can also select view at the top right of the screen. This will either bring up a flyer for BAM or balanced approach macronutrient meals, or will bring up a set meal plan that you are to follow. What comes up will depend on the kind of meal plan your trainer has put forth for you. Each client is different. You will also see your training plan. This screen will inform you of the length of your program and the different workouts in your training plan. To view your workout, simply click on the workout you need to do. This is an interval-based cardio workout and is formatted as such. Interval means performing the workout quickly and with minimal rest times in between sets. 
However, normally the intervals are performed at different speeds. You'll find instructions for your workout at the top of the screen and the exercises you need to perform. If we switch into this workout, you will see a similar format as before. This is a weight training program. You'll find instructions at the top of the screen and each exercise, as well as the required sets and reps you will need to complete. When you click on an exercise, you will be able to view the reps and sets required and watch a video demonstrating how to perform that exercise. You can also read instructions on how to perform that exercise and review your personal bests. As you can see, there are several different ways that your exercises can be formatted. For example, machine seated horizontal row should be performed in two sets for 20 seconds, while machine leg press should be performed for three sets of 10 reps. Of course, these are simply examples and your training program will be different. Your trainer can also add rest times to your program in different time intervals to make a workout more or less difficult. Probably the most important and useful part of the Optimal Health Trainer app to be aware of is the calendar feature. You can view it by either selecting calendar at the top of the screen or swiping to the left. Here you will see all of the workouts your trainer has assigned to you as well as reminders to take progress photos and track body stats. Let's say you're at the gym or home or the track, wherever you normally work out, and you're ready to start your scheduled workout. You'd simply click on the workout, and your workout for that day will pop up. There's a couple different things that you can do from this page. First off, you can select the paper icon at the top of the screen to add workout notes to this workout. If you come across something while doing your workout that you'd like to bring up to your trainer, you can add them here. Then simply let your trainer know that you left some notes in that day's workout. Down at the bottom of the screen, you have two options, track or check in. If you're in a hurry, simply click check in and that will let your trainer know that you didn't skip your workout for the day. In all other cases, select track. This allows you to track your workout and keep track of your progress within your workouts. As you complete each exercise, you'll simply add in the number of reps and the weight you used for each set. You'll complete this step for all of the assigned exercises. You can also add a new set to your workout by clicking add new set. The stopwatch icon at the bottom left of the screen allows you to time the intervals in your workout if needed. The time will show on the top of the screen. You can also insert exercises into your program. This feature is great if the machine you're needing is occupied and you don't have time to wait for it. Click the insert exercises icon and search for the exercise you are wanting to add. If we search bench press for example, a whole list of exercises associated with the bench press come up. Just click the one you are going to be using and select insert. It will notify you when it's been inserted and then you can continue to add more exercises or exit that screen if you're done inserting exercises. Bench press now shows up at the bottom of your workout. You can also click the three little dots on the side of each exercise, which will allow you to substitute that exercise with another. Search for the exercise you are wishing to substitute with and select substitute. If you select the three dots at the top of the screen, you are given options to move the workout to another day or edit the workout, where you can rearrange your workout, add rest times, or insert new workouts. You can also view the video for each exercise and your personal best by swiping to the left. Once you're finished tracking your workout, simply click end at the top of the screen. The app will congratulate you on your new personal best and then return you to your calendar where the workout you track shows is completed. Your trainer will be notified when you track or check into a workout as well as when you miss a workout. This feature will help keep you accountable to your fitness goals. There is a small plus icon at the bottom of your screen. When clicked, you will get a list of options including workout, cardio, body stats, photos, and meals. If you select workout or cardio, it will prompt you to click on a scheduled workout in your calendar. Selecting body stats will add a body stat reminder to your calendar and then allow you to add your body stats into the app, explaining the process along the way. Your meals will be tracked in the MyFitnessPal app. That wraps up the Optimal Health Trainer app tutorial. As you use the app daily, you will become more comfortable, but if you have any questions about how to do something on the app, please contact your trainer. They can answer any questions you might have. The other app we are going to briefly cover is MyFitnessPal. If you don't already have the app, please download it. 
there's a completely free version that will give you access to the basics, such as the ability to count your specific macronutrients and calories. However, there is an upgraded version that we highly recommend you purchase to accommodate your long-term goals. You'll be using the MyFitnessPal app daily to track your meals. When you download it, you'll be prompted to make an account and add in your personal information, such as your weight, height, goals, etc. The MyFitnessPal app is a great tool and has a lot of really cool features. Today, we're just going to go over the basics of how to use the app, but you can find more tutorials on YouTube if you're interested in how to use the many other features the app offers. Once you're logged into the app, you will come across the home page. At the top of the home page are the calories you have remaining for that specific day. When you scroll down, there are health and fitness blogs, recipes, and other educational content. The diary feature of the app will be your best friend as you are learning to track your meals. Click the diary tab at the bottom of the screen and a food diary for the entire day will pop up. Your day will be split into breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks. To add a meal, click the add food option. This will bring up multiple different ways to find the food you were eating that day. There are recent, frequent, my foods, meals, and recipe tabs at the top of the screen that will automatically save certain foods that you eat frequently so you don't have to search for foods as often. You can search for a food by simply entering a keyword. For example, if I search the word egg, all of the combinations with the word egg will appear. You'll also notice there is a barcode icon at the top of the screen. This will allow you to scan the barcodes on the food you eat with the camera on your phone rather than having to search for the food. Once you've found the food you would like to add to your food diary, click on that item, adjust the serving size if needed, and the number of servings. Then click the check mark at the top of the screen to add that food to your food diary. This added the egg to our food diary. It lists the macronutrients or the carb, fat, and protein amounts under the correct category. It also updates your calories at the top of the screen to reflect you eating the egg. If you scroll down to the very bottom of the diary screen, you will find a couple different options. The nutrition option provides a graph of your remaining macronutrients. You can also select notes to add either exercise or nutrition notes to that specific day's diary. When you're finished logging your food for the day, select Complete Diary. Another cool feature of the MyFitnessPal app is the easy to use plus icon at the bottom of the screen. You can use this icon to add a status, add to your water log, food diary, exercise diary, or weigh in, although we don't require you to use those features. The Progress tab will provide a graph showing your progress during the time you've used the app. The More tab houses several great features as well. The only one we're concerned with at this time is the Goals tab. This is where you can update your weight, food, and activity goals. If you select Calorie and Macronutrient Goals, you will be able to adjust your macronutrient numbers based on the numbers your trainer gives you in your meal plan on the Optimal Health Trainer app. To update the numbers, simply click any one of the categories and adjust the numbers accordingly. The percentages must equal 100% for you to be able to save them. Your numbers might not match the numbers your trainer gives you perfectly, but they should be within 5%. You will be using the MyFitnessPal app daily to track your meals. When you download it, you will be prompted to make an account and add in your personal information, such as your weight, height, goals, etc. Those are all of the basics you need to know about the Optimal Health Trainer and the MyFitnessPal apps. We hope this webinar has been educational and that you will use these two apps to make your fitness journey more efficient and productive. Again, if you have any questions or concerns with either app, please contact your assigned trainer. Thanks for watching.